luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Our plan today is to drive to Panga Canyon Boulevard, a road supposedly made famous by Jim Morrison and the Doors in the song Roadhouse Blues. Keep your eyes on the road, your hands upon the wheel. Our ultimate destination is a place called Topanga Corral. Well, where it once stood. Supposedly, Hollywood, California, Topanga Canyon legend is, that is where Jim Morrison got the inspiration for the song Roadhouse Blues. But before we do that, there's a sign here that says the top of Topanga Overlook. And you know how I feel about the views of the mountains here in California, so I figured I'd stop and share them with you. Looks like there's a nice little walkway leading to the overlook. It's definitely a nice little park. There's always a reason to get out and explore, especially whenever you're living in California. Let's see, there's a, looks like there's a marker over here. All right, welcome to the Santa Monica Mountains, top of Topanga Overlook. There's a sign down here, wording says, a view of the San Fernando Valley from Topanga Summit in 1937. Doesn't look anything like that now. Looking up and over, all I see are just houses and buildings after building after building. Obviously, the mountains are still back there, the Santa Susana Mountains. Walk a little further up past these bushes and then just look over to the left. Here we go. It's a bit of a windy day, but this is a great way to start the day off. Beautiful, right? And peaceful, even though there's a road, a highway right next to us. There's another plaque that's right behind me, but because of the sun and how it's coming through the trees, you really can't see it on film. But it shows a picture of this parking area filled with cars saying that the top of Topanga Overlook, where we're at right now, was a very popular tourist spot back in the 1920s and 30s. You can see why. It's beautiful. If the legend, if the lore is true, and the song Roadhouse Blues is based off of a real place, this place here, Topanga Corral, which once stood in this vacant lot, would probably have been it. Jim Morrison absolutely loved Topanga Canyon. He lived here even, and he would perform here in this windowless nightclub and even hang out. I mean, now it's a vacant lot, of course, but this area is absolutely beautiful. And the more you read up on Topanga Canyon, you start to realize how much music history is in these hills. Heck, it's even said that Jim Morrison had a bungalow where he and Pamela would spend the night off and whenever he was drinking too much. He just needed a place to get away. No idea where on this property it would have been, but anybody who's been here in the past with a camera and has talked about it, for some reason always shows this tree as if the bungalow, the Morrison bungalow would have been over here. Who knows? They probably point this location because it's just, it's kind of magical if you think about it. Hey, look at that tree. Don't know what that's about, but there's a sign back there leaning up against the tree. Nothing to do with the doors, but Hot Creek party every weekend. Maybe they still party here. And then there's the lyrics from the Roadhouse Blues. Keep your eyes on the road, your hands upon the wheel. In order to drive this road through Topanga Canyon, you need to do just that. It winds 
it turns, it curves all the way down to the roadhouse. Don't know how well you can see this on screen because of the sun and the shade, but over here on the right hand side of your screen, right about there, if you look closely, there's steps going up through the trees as well as an access road. I wonder if that was here back when Jim Morrison and crew were here hanging out. I just noticed another road in the back of that lot there, and if I zoom in, you can see it a little bit better. But one can only imagine that if you were here back in the 60s and partying and drinking, more than likely, someone had to have gone back inside those mountains. Even though a lot of the history that happened here in Topanga Canyon really have nothing to do with anything grim, it's still history nonetheless. And personally, I'd like to come back out here with my camera and just explore and find a lot of that rock and roll history, like The Doors or Neil Young or Canned Heat different locations. It's, it's, it's pretty surreal. Venturing further down into Topanga Canyon, come across this. It says the Great Wall of Topanga. Not entirely sure what's going on here, but I absolutely love it. All kinds of different art all over this wall. I'm sorry, the Great Wall of Topanga. There's two statues here. One of them is missing his head completely, while the other one, well, he's got half of his face. And there's just some weird creatures up there overlooking them. And then over here, I don't know if that's a giant, I think it's a cockroach. Now you have to keep in mind that back when Topanga Canyon was in its heyday, it was the 60s. So there was like that hippie kind of art slash bohemian movement to it. There's a lot of places here in California that still have that vibe. And just getting into the town of Topanga, I can already tell this is one of them. Not really into that much kind of like art. I like the weird kind of art. I like looking at it, but I couldn't tell you what I'm looking at. I guess in some cases, you really don't need to know what you're looking at. Art speaks for itself. I feel like this is really starting to turn into a weird roadside oddities, roadside Americana kind of video. Eh, possibly start doing more of those in the future as well. Just the weird things that are around me that we find on the road. What do you guys think? I ask because a lot of times we come across places like this, hidden treasures. And you just gotta share it with the world, right? To the left of the building, there's a dinosaur overlooking a boat that's on top of the roof of the shack. I don't know if you can read it, but up here in the front, it says SS Minnow. Everything about this place is solid gold. Even back here, off to the side, they have these shipping containers, but of course, being a place like Hidden Treasures, they painted one of them to say the Gargantua the Great, the giant ape inside a circus wagon. It's not really a circus wagon though. They just made it look like a circus wagon. This is my kind of place. And it looks like here to greet me is a carved wooden black bear. Hello, friend. And there's another greeter. This time it is a, what is that, a metal cutout? Off to the side, why aren't you up front? Why is the bear there to greet everybody but not you? This guy's just having a blast hanging from the palm tree. I don't know. Does he look like he's having fun or does he look like he's terrified? Either way, he's wearing sunglasses, so he's cool. I just had to pull over on the side of the road, safely of course, just to kind of take in the views. It's 
pretty miraculous. Kind of want to climb it. And that's pretty much about it. Our very first visit to the historic and beautiful Topanga Canyon. I promise you, we will be back. I'm actually a little surprised at how small it is. I mean, considering. It really does feel like a secluded mountain resort. And in, a, in a way, I guess it's kind of what it is. That was the big draw to a whole bunch of people, artists and musicians back in the 60s. I love it. I couldn't live here though. It's too secluded for me. And it's definitely too secluded for Jessica. I'm telling you that right now. Let's get one more look at this place. This time looking up Topanga Canyon Road. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm in an old western.